This video intends to show you how to set up an either SAM test with two test sets in dual test set mode. For this example, you will start from the either SAM test application. Notice that the tab will turn orange as you click on it. Make sure that there's another unit at the other end, either set in smart loopback mode or in either SAM. Note that only one of these devices will perform the EtherSAM test in DTS mode. The first thing to do is to click on the Test Configuration tab. Ensure that you have a link up or link down. If you wish to change the interface to another one such as 10 or 100 gigabytes, you can do so under Modify Structure. In this current demonstration, you can see the selection of an electrical gate. By selecting this option, it's going to modify the structure and make sure you have a link. The second step is to go under the Ether SAM tab to select the partner. Click on the box to enable dual test mode. Then you need to discover the remote. Use the scan to enter the IP address. Select specific IP and enter the other unit's IP address in the blank field. See if it exists on the system by using the quick ping function. If it does exist, you can run a scan which will find the device for you. At this point, you have two choices. Either you can loop this up so it will transmit back your traffic, or you can choose to connect. It will participate by also measuring so that you would have one-way measurements. In this example, connect option will be chosen. Click on connect to connect your devices together. You can now close this window. As you can see here, there is a link between the two units. Let's move on now to set up the ramp tests. Clicking on ramp test at the bottom will let you view if this is the desired ramp. If you wish to add or delete some steps, you can just add or delete, and then it will add these different steps. Click on the global tab to return to the previous window. The second part is the service performance test. You can choose the running time. Once you have finished the configuration of the subtests, you can minimize this window. You can click on services to choose which one you want to test. For example, if you wish to test one gigabit in both directions, select this option from the drop-down menu. Then under local test, remote test set, you would then be writing one gig as well as under remote to local test set. To change it, simply click on the related field that needs to be changed. The next step is to select the frame size. You'll have the choice here between random, fixed, and emix. If selecting an emix of frame size, you can decide to have multiple type of frames, somewhat similar to the RFC. If you choose to go with a fixed one, you can put a bigger frame if you want or even jumbo. Afterward, you can rename your service and you may consider naming it based on the type of frame you are using for better identification for this stream. Verify that it is enabled. You can make further verification and see your full constructs by minimizing this window. When verifying your constructs, make sure that Giggy Link is up, the stream one is enabled, it's a full Giggy in both directions and the DTS is enabled as well. Then you are ready to start by clicking on Start on the right. Once it is running, you will be able to notice that the test is starting with service configuration in both directions. In order to gain a comprehensive understanding of the ongoing test, you can click on top on the service configuration tab, and then at the bottom, you click here on the ramp test. And then you see here it's already ramping up the throughput all the way to one gig, and it's measuring jitter, latency, and of course the throughput you're getting. You will see the data related of one direction first, then it will populate the other direction afterwards. Once this test is completed, it will proceed to test the service performance. By clicking on the Summary tab, you can access the results of the completed tests. As you can see in this current example, the green check marks are indicating that the service configuration is fine. If you click on Service Performance while a test is running, you will be able to see the progress and you will be able to see if you have any frame loss remote to local or if you have any out of sequence remote to local. In this case, no issue are present. Once the test is completed, you will see the specific data related to the results. Please note that the test will be conducted on one side at a time, as it is a measurement process. If there were an error, you would naturally see a red line indicating the errors. However, in the absence of errors, no alerts would be displayed. Please allocate about one minute for the test to finish. Subsequently, you will receive the results from the other direction. After this, you will generate the report and that will conclude the process.